Hi, this is Grace, and um, I'm doing my. Uh, I'm on Agamagon, and I need some um, gold. So while prospecting here, what I'm doing is I'm um, looking for gear. As you can see, the uh, prospecting goes off down there. Got to move the auction house screen. Um, and these tiers, they don't really go by um, the old prices anymore, except for the maybe leather uh, that you because um, uh, yeah, because I switched things up. So this leather tier is from um, yeah, the leather tier is from um, Epic Penny Pouch and Farley Wow's post on the hatchery. Where they did a mog list for um, leather. I actually sold Bard's legs on Draenor Alliance side for 2k. So that was nice. And um, as you can see right now, I'm multitasking because I'm looking at the gear. And at the same time, I'm prospecting. So I got all this ore. I mean, it's not that much. It's not like it was in the beginning of Kata. And this character doesn't have... I mean, she has 649 gold total, so that's not much. And um, I like those boots. The Bard's boots are good. I'm trying to limit the the amount of gear that I'm that I'm buying. Um, those bracers are kind of special too. Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm trying to limit the amount of gear that I'm buying so that I don't have. So, I, so that so, so that I don't have an excessive amount of um, gear to post on my mog seller. Um, Gray's here. She's um, dis. Oh, sorry. She's a jewel crafting, jewel crafter and enchanter. So I got that combined uh, for easy gold. As you can see here, it's my cloth list. Um, Robes of Insight and Gosamer down. Oh, sorry, Gosamer there. And I, I usually look for the Gosamer robe that was up on WoW Insider. I haven't sold it yet. I have it up for 15k on both Alliance side and Horde side on Draenor. But it hasn't sold, so whatever. I'll lower the price, but I'll wait another month or something. Uh, maybe two weeks, I don't know. So what I did is I put in some random stuff in here as well. Blade of the Titans, Oath Keeper, Ogre Splitting Axe, Singing Crystal. Like fast weapon snatches in case I find something. Uh, so my plan right now is to this and oh sorry prospect prospect this gear and um, look for stuff on the auction house at the same time. Three forty one. That's the lowest one there. Brilliant Inferno rubies. And I know that the prices will tank eventually. Uh, well, not tank, but they will end up at around let's say two fifty or something. When everyone gets on. Right now it's still daytime. I'm home from. Uh, work holidays. Well, actually, I'm, I've, I've quit my job as well, so I'm starting my new job on Monday. So that's awesome. Um, yep. So right now I'm thinking like, what price should I put? And 341 is cool because I want I want fast sales. And I know guys like MS Sherrits were speaking about not using a one copper undercut because. Um, it just makes people tank the auction house, which is true. Well, not tank, I mean camp, sorry. So much into tanking and camping, whatever, right now. So, uh, as you can see here, there's someone posting the heavily shards for 105 gold, um, 24 of them. And I got mine for 250. And I saw, I think I sold two yesterday. So, basically, I mean, it's Thursday now. The prices won't really stick. So, I'll put mine. There's one there for, well, there's eight of them for 101 gold, which is pretty cheap. Um, <laughs> not cheap, cheap, but anyway. Um, so I have two choices. Either I go for the lower one there for 101, or I go for this one with 105. And since it's a, it's, since it's a four gold difference, it doesn't make that that a bigger difference. And right now, I need the gold on this woman here because she... She's lacking gold. Um, I've been playing too much on Draenor. And that has made, 
made um, money making on Agamagon uh, an issue. Well, not an issue, but you know. So that's that. Um, I'm actually gonna post some some other stuff here. Uh, let's see, because I uh, for the extra gold. So right now I'm just putting up prices here. Sometimes I go over. Well, now I have I have seven scarlet rubies, and I could put them higher, but I want the gold fast. So I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just prospect more. Uh, whoa, that was not what I was going for. And I like even prices sometimes, you know, to make it easy. So I'll post four of those. I had seven, but I post four. Um, the Maelstrom crystals are cheap. 140 right now. I can shatter them and sell the um, Heavenly Shards up until, let's say, I go 160 there. But I don't have that much gold down here to make it worth it. So I'm not sure. Uh, I could do one, but it's, I don't know. Right now, I don't expect things to move too fast either, so I'm not sure. I have five heavenly, well, Maelstrom crystals here as well that I'd forgotten, so I could shatter those. Sometimes I wait for the prices to uh, to rise so that I can... Right, I was going to sell these. Yeah, right, now I'm on the Cornelians here, and um, that's my last prospect. So I'll go craft in the meantime. Wait. Do like this. Whoa. Um, I'm gonna go by the greater celestial essences is what I'm going for. I'm gonna prospect lots of those. Oh, sorry. Craft and disenchant, and then I'll sell the uh, the mats. The uh, I'm not used to a lion side here, so I'm not sure which which vendor I'm looking for. Um, I'm holding down the alt key to buy them faster as you can see there so I buy stacks uh, when it com comes to tokens I can buy the epic gems but right now it's not worth it it feels like MOP will come in and things will change and I don't know I haven't really looked at the patch notes either so this is all over the place <laughs> yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'll craft those uh, Cornelian spikes yeah I think I'll go for those maybe make some Hessonite bands as well because Hessonite bands and Nightstone, whatever the fuck that is, Nightstone chokers, they're good for, um, yeah, I'll go for the Hessonite bands first. Um, those are good for um, heavily shards. And for some reason, right, so I got some heavily shards here. I've got 37. Uh, let me think here. Heavenly, <laughs> sorry, that's greater celestial essences. Celestial <laughs> essences. Um, but this is actually a good recording. I'm, I'm actually kind of, you know, usually I just stutter so much more because I'm so into what I'm doing on the screen, so I can't talk. Especially when I touch the uh, AH woman. I'm not sure if it's AH women on this side right now, but I know that in the um, this is the trade district. No, this is the dwarf district, district right? So in the trade district, I know that there's women in the auction house. Well, at least there's the ones I go to are women. The one in the middle and the one to the right. Jim had tweeted on Twitter and asked if people seem if they have a, a certain. Maybe I should go for cheaper just to sell faster. Fuck it. Yep, I will. So right now I'll sell these for. Let me think. Heavenly shards. I might as well craft while I'm doing this. Um, oh, Hessenite and boom, 98. So I'll switch my macro down here so that I can disenchant them. I got the bi gu build perk. I got the guild perk for. Um, whoa, that's the wrong disenchant button. Maybe it's this one. No, that's prospecting. Shit. Well, I thought I had a micro somewhere here. Let's see. D E D E. Um, I've really been slacking. Got the, I got the. I use certain action bars. Not oh, wrong. 
for certain stuff, so I move things around a bit. Well, nothing seems to work here. <laughs> so, what the hell is up? Right, so let's take a break here because I gotta do some.